Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Sheldon, and this is Behind the Enthusiast. Today, I have quite some strange news for you, and that is I got my captain's license. Well, no, not really. Uh, for a boat, by the way, not, not an airplane. I got this in the mail a little while ago, because I did do this over the winter, and I just completely forgot to tell you guys about the good news. Obviously I'm hiding my address because I don't want any fan mail. So this was through my boat card and I did the test over the winter. Basically there is a course that is very, very extensive goes through literally everything, all types of situations, things that you need to have on the boat, um, emergency items, that type of thing. And it goes through, you know, direction when you're going through the channels, going around buoys, signage, all that stuff. And there is honestly so much information there I don't remember how long it took me exactly. I want to say four, six hours, or something crazy. And there, there's actually a lot of information. And this is something I don't think people realize how easy it is to get the license, but also how important it is to actually retain all the information because driving a car or driving a motorcycle some people think that that's complicated, but driving a boat, honestly, so much more information that you need to remember because, and this is why, this is very important, because you're not going to be doing it every single day. Now, a lot of people will say, well, if it's super easy, doesn't that mean that anybody can get their license? Uh, yes, in theory, it is super, super easy. It's a, an online course, open book, you read through. However, it is timed. I don't remember how much time I had specifically, but in terms of actually learning, I did spend a lot of time reading through everything, gaining all that knowledge so that I could actually pass the test at the end. And I did pass the assessment. I don't remember what my score was, but obviously it was really good because I passed. But in terms of actually studying the test component, yeah, I think it took me four hours, six hours, something pretty crazy. But it was one of those things where I was home for the day and I basically spent all day long doing it. So I spent a, an afternoon. That's why I'm saying about four to six hours. And honestly, totally worth it because it opens up so many more options for you. This literally will allow you to start off on something as small as a little fishing boat or a sea do, you know, or maybe even a jet ski, whatever you want, all the way up to cruisers or cabin boats, cabin cruisers, overnighters. There's a bunch of different other ones. But basically, if you guys want to go out in a canoe and paddle, you, you don't need this. However, if it has a motor on it, you pretty much need this. Now, there is some rules. I think that there's, I think it's based on the horsepower. There's some age restrictions in there, but clearly being almost 40 years old, it doesn't apply to me. However, you definitely need to, well, this is my recommendation. Take the course. Print off as much as you possibly can, laminate it, make a binder, have it in the boat, or if you're on a sea do, if there's a trunk, maybe include it in the trunk. Like usually, I think the seat comes up and there's a trunk compartment in there on some of them, if I remember correctly. So you might be able to store it away on a sea do as well, but definitely take this seriously. This is something that is obviously very exciting and very new. Uh, my dad has a bunch of boats that I can actually drive. So it's just a matter of us getting something in the water and me actually putting everything that I've learned into practice. I still have access to all the online resources. 
So I'm definitely going to take my own advice, print a lot of those key things off, you know, signage, you know, the laneways and the channel, you know, if uh, upstream, downstream, that's a, that sort of thing. And the lights, there's lights on the boat. You have to remember, you know, which one is starboard and everything else, the, the bow, the stern, all those things, right? So you need to remember all this information and honestly making a little, you know, Cole's Notes version of the course is highly recommended, but definitely super exciting. And oh, nice. up. now there's supposed to be a card. There's probably a little bit of a letter as well. So this is what you guys will have to look forward to if you do the same. So there is a card. Now, obviously this is gonna have my personal information on it, so I can't necessarily show it all, but I will show you the bottom. So my boat card, Canada. So the card holder is competent to operate a pleasure craft as indicated in the competency of operators of pleasure craft regulations under the Canada Shipping Act 2001. So it's got a card number on it, says pleasure craft, operator card, has my name on it, and it's gonna have your date of birth on it as well. So that needs to be on me at all times. So definitely don't lose that and make sure that it's on you. And of course, a letter. Congratulations, your pleasure craft operator card is proof that you have passed a Transport Canada boating safety test. Please keep your card with you while boating and keep this document for your records. So again, you have to have that on you when you go out on a boat or sea do it doesn't matter. Make sure you have it with you, even if you aren't the operator, by the way. So let's say you go out with a buddy and he is driving and for some reason there is an emergency or whatever, make sure you have your card on you so that you can take over the boat. Keep that in mind. And of course, there is a, well, for me anyway, in this particular one, there is a discount for family and friends included if somebody else wanted to get their boating license. However, I'm pretty sure every single person in my immediate family already has their boat license and I am the last one to get it. So, finally. <laughs> so that is done and out of the way. So that's pretty exciting news. And again, like I said, we do have several boats. My dad does anyway. And one of them might be for me and maybe in a future video I will show you guys which one that boat is and if you guys have any recommendations for something smaller in the meantime I'm still kind of thinking over it. The, the gears are going I may consider getting a sea -Doo. however I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on one just because I'm that type of person who wants to relax I don't really want to go out and play in the waves but if it's gonna be more cost effective for me to start off with something super small, I think a sea is probably a pretty good idea because I'll be able to go out, be able to ride. Um, definitely recommended that I wear a helmet and I already have motorcycle helmets, so I'm pretty sure you just wear those. So that should work. If not, I'll have to buy another one. But wear your life jacket, wear a helmet, and go out and enjoy the freedom. Obviously, it's completely different from riding a motorcycle because, well, you're in the water, first of all. When you're on solid ground, you don't have to worry about sinking. You don't have to worry about getting wet. You don't have to worry about falling off into the water and then trying to get back on to a floating vehicle. So it's just a completely different dynamic. Um, it's not scary at all, but definitely I'm more, more interested in, um, I believe it's a cabin cruiser or an overnighter. Might be an overnighter. Anyway, the one where they have 
like a lower deck and a, a bunk and you can kind of sleep in it and you kind of go out at night and look at the stars and you know what I mean. Anyway, more more of a hopeless romantic uh, type of boating experience. <laughs> but anyway, figured I would update you guys on that and let you guys know what I was up to in the winter. I just totally forgot about it. So now you know. And um, obviously there's uh, a few more things coming up on the channel outside of motorcycles and racing and cars. And now we have boats in the mix. So... I think I'm going to run out of money soon, <laughs> but that's why I'm looking at the cheap options at the moment. Oh, man. Summers are going to be absolutely crazy from now on, and I have no one else to blame but myself. So super pumped for this new experience. New adventures await me uh, out on the open water. So hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button so I know that it's working. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. Suggestions on a sea do Maybe. Maybe you guys have some for me. Let me know. And of course, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future content on the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.